Have you ever wondered how a civilization from Africa managed to conquer vast regions of Europe in the 8th century? A thought-provoking question, isn't it? This is the tale of the Moors, an enigmatic force from North Africa, whose influence forever shaped the course of history. Dwelling in the regions that we now know as Morocco and Algeria, the Moors were a blend of Berbers, Arabs and other African tribes. Their spirited culture was a vibrant tapestry of Islamic, Roman, and indigenous African influences. But what prompted this flourishing civilization to cast their gaze north, towards the Iberian Peninsula? The year was 711 AD, a time of unrest and political turmoil in Spain. The Visigothic kingdom that ruled was fractured by infighting, their once mighty power waning. With the throne in dispute, the stage was set for an unforeseen invasion. The Moors, under the command of the formidable general Tariq ibn Ziyad, seized this opportunity. But why Spain, you may ask? The Moors were driven by a combination of factors, for some it was the allure of Spain's abundant resources and strategic location, for others it was the prospect of spreading Islam to new territories, and for a few it was simply the thrill of conquest. In the early hours of a fateful day in April the Moors with a force rumored to be as small as 7,000 men, crossed the Strait of Gibraltar. They landed on a rocky outcrop that would later bear their commander's name, Jebel Tariq, or as we know it, Gibraltar. In the face of an unexpected and formidable enemy, the Visigoths crumbled. The Moors with their superior tactics and indomitable spirit triumphed. Spain fell, a significant victory in their ambitious expansion. So began a conquest that would change the landscape of Europe forever. But this was just the beginning. The Moors' journey of conquest, expansion and eventual decline is a saga filled with intrigue, conflict and enduring impact. Stay tuned for the next chapter in this incredible historical journey. In just a few years, the Moors had established a significant presence in Europe. But how did they achieve this rapid expansion? The answers lie deep within the Moors' strategic prowess and their ability to adapt to new environments. Their successful expansion across Spain, Portugal and Sicily can be attributed to three main factors. Military might, strategic alliances, and cultural assimilation. Firstly, the Moors were known for their formidable military presence. Their armies, composed of skilled and disciplined soldiers, were expertly trained in both traditional and advanced warfare techniques. This military prowess not only allowed them to conquer vast territories, but also to maintain control over these newly acquired lands. But military might alone was not the sole factor behind their swift territorial expansion. The Moors also understood the power of alliances, they forged strategic partnerships with local tribes and rulers, often through marriages and diplomatic treaties. These alliances served a dual purpose. Not only did they prevent potential uprisings and revolts, but they also helped the Moors in gaining local knowledge and understanding the region's dynamics better. Lastly, cultural assimilation played a critical role in the Moors' rapid expansion. The Moors were not just conquerors, they were also traders, scholars and artisans. They brought with them a rich and vibrant culture that was both fascinating and appealing to the local populace. They introduced advanced agricultural techniques, innovative architectural designs, and a wealth of knowledge in various fields such as mathematics, astronomy and medicine. This cultural exchange not only helped the Moors gain the trust and respect of the local populace, but also facilitated their integration into the local communities. So, in a nutshell, the rapid expansion of the Moors across Spain, Portugal and Sicily was a result of their military prowess, strategic alliances, and cultural assimilation. These three factors, combined with their resilience and adaptability, allowed the Moors to swiftly establish a significant presence in Europe. With a combination of military might and strategic alliances, the Moors quickly established their dominance in these new territories. The Moors didn't just bring armies to Europe, they brought their culture, sciences and arts, but what was the impact of this on European civilization? The Moors, hailing from North Africa, were not just conquerors but also scholars, architects, artists and scientists. They brought with them a vibrant culture and a thirst for knowledge that was unparalleled in the era. Their influence on European civilization was profound and long-lasting, particularly in Spain, Portugal and Sicily, which became the centers of their cultural and scientific contributions. In the realm of medicine, the Moors introduced a more advanced understanding of the human body and diseases. They established public hospitals and medical schools, and their physicians penned comprehensive medical texts that were used in Europe for centuries. 
As for astronomy, they constructed sophisticated observatories and crafted precise astronomical instruments. Their knowledge of the stars and celestial navigation greatly contributed to European seafaring and exploration during the Age of Discovery. In terms of architecture, the Moors left an indelible imprint on European landscapes. Their unique architectural style, characterized by intricate geometric patterns and lush gardens, is still evident today in the grand mosques, palaces and fortresses they built, such as the Alhambra in Spain and the Great Mosque of Cordoba. The Moors also made significant contributions to the arts. They introduced new musical instruments, developed unique styles of poetry and literature, and promoted the decorative arts including ceramics, textiles, and metalwork. Their love for beauty and detail shaped European aesthetic sensibilities in profound ways. They also played a pivotal role in preserving and translating ancient Greek and Roman texts, serving as a bridge between the classical world and the Renaissance. This was particularly significant in the fields of philosophy, mathematics, and natural sciences. So, while the Moors are often remembered for their military conquests, their cultural, scientific, and artistic contributions to Europe were equally if not more significant. Their influence was so profound that it can still be felt today, centuries after their decline. The Moors left a lasting legacy in Europe, forever shaping its cultural and scientific landscape. Every empire has its peak and its fall, but how did the Moors who had conquered so much eventually lose their grip on Europe? The Moorish reign, like many others, was not without its share of internal conflicts. As the empire expanded, so too did its complexities. The vast geographical expanse, the diversity of cultures and the sheer number of people under its rule made it increasingly difficult to maintain a unified front. The Moors were a collection of diverse tribes and factions, each with its own set of interests. And this diversity, while a source of strength, was also a source of tension. These internal conflicts combined with external pressures began to strain the Moorish rule. On one hand there were the Christian kingdoms to the north, steadily growing in power and influence. They were slowly but surely pushing back against the Moorish frontier, chipping away at their territories. This was the beginning of what would come to be known as the Reconquista, a series of wars that spanned several centuries. On the other hand, there was pressure from the east, particularly from the Abbasid Caliphate. Their influence and power were growing, and they posed a significant threat to the Moors in Europe. It was a period of great political turmoil and instability, and the Moors found themselves caught in the middle. The final blow came with the Reconquista. The Christian kingdoms of the north, now united under a common cause, launched a concerted effort to reclaim their lands. The Moors, weakened by internal strife and external pressures, were unable to withstand this onslaught. By the late 15th century, the last of the Moorish kingdoms Granada, fell to the Christian forces. Despite their eventual fall, the impact of the Moors on Europe remains evident to this day. Their influence can be seen in the architecture, the sciences, the arts, and the very fabric of European culture. The Moors may have fallen, but their legacy lives on. The story of the Moors is a tale of conquest, expansion, cultural exchange, and eventual decline. We've journeyed across centuries, tracing the footsteps of a civilization that left an indelible mark on the world. From the shores of North Africa, they embarked on an unforeseen invasion, a journey that would lead them to the heartlands of Europe, Spain, Portugal, and Sicily. Their rapid expansion across these regions was nothing short of extraordinary. In a span of less than a hundred years, they established a formidable empire that stretched across the Iberian Peninsula and beyond. The seeds of their civilization were sown far and wide, leaving an enduring legacy that would shape the course of history. Yet it was not just about territorial gains. The Moors brought with them a rich cultural tapestry, a synthesis of African, Arab, and Berber traditions. They introduced new concepts in architecture, science, art, and literature, forever changing the cultural landscape of Europe. Their influence is still felt today, a testament to the depth and breadth of their impact. However, like all great empires, the Moorish reign was not destined to last forever. Internal strife, coupled with external pressures, led to their decline and fall. The once mighty empire crumbled, but not without leaving a lasting legacy. Their influence permeated every facet of European civilization, from the arts to the sciences, from language to architecture. The story of the Moors serves as a reminder of the cyclical nature of history. Empires rise and fall, but their impact reverberates through the ages. 
The Moors may have faded into the annals of history, but their legacy lives on, imbued in the very fabric of the societies they once ruled. As we journey through history, we are reminded of the indelible mark left by the Moors on the tapestry of European civilization,